know I'm not what you need Baby, why are you trying? Come over and comfort me Ain't no sense in lying Dreams of an honest thing We could just part ways But not our own destiny Baby, baby, baby You know I'm more than just a girl That you can be walking down the street I think you know that I'm the one That you wanted your company Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel guys Um Now before I get into today's video I just want to say hello Um, welcome And my subbies are my lovelies And if you're ready to be amazed Please hit the subscribe button And turn on the post notifications So you do not miss a single upload Today's video was actually supposed to be a get ready with me, but clearly as you can tell I didn't have time for that because my hair is Severely wet. It is the first of the month turn up We are getting closer and closer to daily uploads in October, which I'm super duper excited about and um, Yeah, so today is game day in Tennessee, but we do not have a home game today so my man is in Charlotte and I miss him so much. I was actually afraid for my life last night because I hate sleeping alone and I was in my apartment all alone and halfway through the night I just had to turn the big light on because I kept hearing a noise and it really sounded like tapping on my um, closet door and my closet door is all mirror okay so my bed is facing my closet mirror <laughs> and it's horizontal and you know this horizontal mirror is just staring me in the face all night so it sounded like something was tapping on the bottom of the inside of the closet and every time I would sit up to get a look of the mirror it would stop and then every time I would lay back down it would start up again and eventually you know I just had to wake up because I was like I can't keep doing this I didn't watch a whole bunch of scary videos not directly before bedtime but um, you know I probably shouldn't have watched every single scary video that I watched like I was super frightened anyways I'm headed to work now and you know I work on a game day which I don't know I'm hoping for the best maybe I'll get some pretty good tips I am working the morning shift and the game doesn't start till 3 30 so that's still two and a half hours of my shift that the game is going on and I know that people like to get to games early so hopefully you know we'll start getting busy around 12 and um, we'll just have some campers hopefully we only have three tables because I'm not ready y'all I'm still out of breath my nose is still killing me and I don't know how much I can do today I hope you know I can pick a section that's pretty I don't want to say easy because none of them are like necessarily easy but less stressful in a way that's about it I'm gonna have to go into work and work it actually kind of makes me upset but then again I'm not upset because I don't have cable so this is like a free a free game on TV for me and I might actually just stay and finish it out but I definitely want to watch the whole thing because you know, it's my boyfriend's sophomore year, and he, you know, he redshirted his freshman year, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be starting, and that's exciting for me because I, I just want to see, you know, him play. We'll see how it goes. I'll get back on this camera probably during work just to film some of the game if I have any downtime, but if not, I will definitely tell you how work goes when I get off, and then, you know, maybe film some of the game after I am done. Okay guys, so I got to work a little bit earlier than I was expecting. There wasn't any traffic this morning, so I guess I'm just gonna go in, relax for a little while, get something to drink, use the restroom. I'm kind of disappointed because there's a manager working this morning that I'm not too razzled about every time I walk past him I feel like he's just staring into my soul um, he's not easy to talk to he's really sarcastic and kind of an asshole so I'm trying not to let that put a damper on my mood I literally w drove into the parking lot and saw his big ass truck and I was like 
awesome. Today's gonna suck, but I'm, I'm trying not to have that mentality today because I wanna be positive and, you know, I just, I wanna see Bay play. That's really all I care about. But um, I'm just gonna go in there, make some napkins, try to chill out for a little while before I gotta get clocked in. All right, guys, so I wasn't able to film any part of the game because as soon as the game got slightly good, you know, I had really needy tables and I had to take care of my tables. And eventually by the end of my shift, I was just really ready to get out of there. I also wasn't able to like do anything in the daylight really except for this morning because my phone was acting so crazy and I had to go to the mall and get it fixed. Apparently the guy who fixed it the first time did not do it well and he also took some parts out and didn't put them back in. So that was a little sketchy. Today didn't go as I wanted it to go. However, the manager, the manager today, he actually wasn't such a dick. So that did make me a lot happier to be at work. I got to work and I was told some things about my man as usual that were just kind of like cringy. Um, not necessarily, in my opinion, totally disrespectful, but just like fishy. For those of you who know me, I support love so heartedly. I feel like if you guys love each other to the fullest, go ahead, stay together, work it out. The only, you know, conditions I think that you should probably get out is if it's abusive or any abusive relationship probably should be dealt with differently, but... I really do love my boyfriend and I support him so much and I just want him to succeed in life even if that means that we don't or we take a break or we're not together or we break up completely which I hope that never happens. I feel as though sometimes things are taken out of context. There has been plenty of times in a relationship where you know people don't want us to be together and I get it. If you have not checked out my Dating a College Athlete, please go ahead and do so because there is a lot of information about this in there. Um, there's just girls, and not necessarily even what happened today, but just like throughout our relationship and throughout college, there have been girls who just don't care. I mean, they don't care that we're in a relationship, they have no respect, and I don't know what kind of benefit they're getting out of it. I don't know if they think that they're going to get money one day or if they just have a thrill in being a person who tries to take away a loved one. I'm not sure. I don't want to use the, wor the word ho or the word slut, but I mean, honestly, it's one thing to flirt around and I'm kind of over that little stuff now because it's almost been two years into our relationship and we've been through way more than just flirting like we have been through so much I I love him so much and I'm willing to do anything and go through anything with him if he wants it to you know I get DMs all the time and the stories have never matched up and I'm just like do I trust someone I just met or do I trust the guy that I know and Honestly, this may sound really dumb, but I choose my boyfriend. That's my life, and you can, you know, judge me how you want, but I choose the person that I've known the longest, and as far as I know, my man hasn't said anything to me. Honestly, I don't find it that serious. Um, there has been several, like, several people who just say certain things not even just today just like throughout a relationship even in high school like his exes would say all these things and I would rather take the risk and figure it out myself than go around like accusing people but at the end of the day I I make the decision to stay or leave there's always going to be something and for us it is hard because he plays college football um, I can't even express that enough. That has been the most stressful thing about our relationship. And I'm not saying that it completely changed or our love has changed, but we're just, we've been in a little funk lately and we're kind of crawling out of it. And you know, if he chose to do what he did in that time of funkiness, that is on him. I've never, you know, texted a guy or tried to flirt with a guy. Um, 
this is probably too much information, but it's true. I've, you know, I've never been that type of person. Even when I get super mad, even when I've been cheated on, um, and hurt, I, I choose love and I choose not to hurt people in that way. My biggest fear of being with my boyfriend, and it's not even being with my boyfriend, it's just being like with a college football player in general. And I don't know if this is a fear for you all, but it is a fear for me that, you know, I hold my man down until he gets to the league. And even like, you know, in those moments and those hard, hard times, and then he might just break up with me for no reason or like leave me because he's going to the league or I don't know why I have these thoughts but I just do maybe it's because I've seen it like on television you know when people are younger in their career and then they like they're together and then when they get huge something bad happens and they break up like Angelina and Brad Pitt um there's tons of basketball players who have cheated on their wives there's tons of football players who cheat on cheated on their wives and the wives choose to stay but I don't think that would be the case I think that my man would break up with me before he cheated on me and I think that I would be completely devastated I don't know if that's a fear for you guys but it is a total fear for me I don't necessarily think that he would do that I'm just saying like what if it is a fear just because of what you see on TV what you see in the media athletes and how like their relationships are you don't really see them lasting they all have issues that us regular people normal living their life every day today nine to five jobs don't have and it's not something you brag about I'm not bragging about it I don't think him playing college football is worth a breakup I think what he does is amazing I think he is super talented um, I know he will make it and I have no doubt in my mind that he loves me back. And now going in to his sophomore year, it's even scarier because it's like a realization like, wow, he's actually going to be playing this year. Like, I have a fear of holding someone down for so long and then being left in the dust because it's happened so many times. Family, friends, ex-boyfriends. He's not that type of person. I don't think that he would be evil enough to do that. But you never know. And those are my fears. I was really, really looking forward to spending time with him because, you know, I haven't spent time with Princeton in a long time. Well, obviously he is upset. He, I don't think he got to play today. I didn't see him play. Like, again, I, I said I didn't see the game really because I had some really needy customers. But I don't think he got to play, and now he's upset, and... He's like throwing himself into these plays and that's like one thing you have to deal with, I guess, with being with a college athlete, specifically a football player. Um, it's not all sunshines and rainbows. He says we'll hang out tomorrow and I hope, I hope that we get to, but um, I don't even know if we will get to. I'm in a place where I, I know where I am Obviously, I know where I am now. I'm in Knoxville. It's one of those things that it just is what it is. Um, there's nothing I can do. I try to talk to him. I just wanted to talk for five minutes, but he's engulfed in his thing, in his football career, and I understand. It's just, I don't know. I just really miss being with him. Um, I know that that was going to change. I just didn't know how fast it was going to change. It's hard. These are the moments that no one talks about, really. Like, that, what it's like to be with a college athlete, college football player. Nobody talks about these moments. It's all sunshine and rainbows when we're celebrating and getting drunk and having fun after games. But then there's times like this where they might lose a game and like I said, I don't think my boyfriend got to play today and he really wanted to get on the field. They changed his position, I think. I'm not sure. So I'm kind of just like a, a loner again tonight. I feel bad. I feel bad that they lost. That's another thing that like people don't talk about, like the losses. Like 
his pain, I don't know if it's because like we're just in tune with each other or if it's because we've been together for a while, but when he is in pain, I feel it. Like I literally feel it. I was not prepared for this type of loneliness. I got my sweet tea and I'm on my way home. You guys know what the funniest part about all this is? Is that it's not even funny, but you know, um, Princeton literally warned me that, you know, college football is nothing like high school football. And yeah, I was like, yeah, duh, hello, it's college, not high school, but no. And they're D1 athletes, like, it's a lot. See my acne? Menstrual cycles are a mother. Yeah. No matter, like, how much advice someone can give you or how many tips, how many tricks, you still would not be prepared. Whoa. Good morning, my lovelies. So, I forgot to, like, let you guys know a whole lot of stuff from last night. So, when I got home, I kind of just fell asleep. Thanking God that I woke up this morning. And when I woke up, I had saw that my boyfriend... This lighting is really weird. Um, my boyfriend had asked why do I love him honestly that question just like there's so many things not wrong with it but like do you think that I don't love you or like I don't know like are you trying to break up with me like I'm so scared but like I told him this a multi-paragraph text like it is so long because like there's so many reasons why I love him we've been together for almost two years there's no reason why I don't love him um, of course, we both have our flaws, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm still in it to win it, okay? But, um, yeah, that's basically how my day went yesterday. Not as planned, but also, I've learned a lot, and it wasn't as bad as what it could have been. And, you know, everything happens for a reason, so that's all I got for y'all. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.